What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another video. Welcome back to the channel. I had three other mint on card items that returned from Collector Archive Services about a week or so ago, and I just hadn't had a chance to show them to you yet. The first one is a Power of the Force 2 Boba Fett to add to my existing run. And uh, here is my run so far in all of its glory. Uh, left to right, and I'm not going to you know, zoom in on them. You can go back on my channel and take a look at them in more detail. But left to right, we've got the tri logo THX with, or the uh, tri logo with the THX insert inside. Uh, behind that is a Japanese stand up blister. It's got the Japanese sticker on the back. Uh, this one's probably my favorite. This is the Italian gig card with the Jeremy Bullock autograph on there. So that's a, that's a really tough one to find. And that was a very lucky find. Um, and this one is a Toy Expo Japanese, I believe it's, no, I'm sorry, this is a Phil Philadelphia Toy Expo exclusive, also signed by Jeremy Bullock. It's got that custom photo of Jeremy Bullock there. Um, behind that, over here on the right, uh, in the back, is the Canadian card, the standard red Canadian card. And then this is the U.S. freeze frame action slide card. Uh, so that is my run so far, and then I did get, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know what that is. The, this uh, this is the latest edition. This is one I purchased on eBay in an auction, and the seller was or is a, a YouTube uh, subscriber. So I've forgotten his name. I cannot find the message anywhere in my inbox, but he said, hey, you know, I, I, I love your channel. And I'm glad that you won this. So anyway, to, to whoever you are, I apologize. I cannot remember your name, but this is the Canadian Freeze frame action slide. This is a tough one to to, lo to locate. It's got a uh, insert, also very similar to how the THX insert is in the uh, the the tri logo version over there. It's got that THX insert. This this also has an insert behind the figure. So this is the the one I I just got back from grading. It's obviously uh, got the French and English on there. So this is the Canadian card back. Uh, this one does not have any errors for the Boba Fett. So, so some of the figures do have like half circles on the hands or no circles or they're missing that skull emblem on the shoulder or they're missing an emblem here on the chest on the left hand side there but this one has no errors so it's just a standard boba fett figure but it's on a very you know in my opinion a pretty difficult to find freeze frame action slide canada card and a nice crystal clear blister and this one graded straight 90s 90 for the card blister and figure for an overall 90 Kenner Canada 1997 Power of the Force 2 freeze frame action slide. So very well labeled there by CAS. And here is the U.S. card. We'll just show that really quickly. This is uh, the U.S. card just for comparison's sake. So you can see, you know, this one's got French language there above the, the freeze frame card. And then this is the freeze frame action slide uh, on the U.S. card. So... Uh, for those of you who have not seen the backs, that the, the the freeze frame cards in general, there's not a lot of them that are are, are big dollar. Um, the the Boba Fett is usually commands a pretty big premium. The the one the, the freeze frame action slide that commands the biggest premium is the U.S. Weakway. That one, um, the Weakway is uh, just did not come on an, on a in a large manufacturing batch. It was towards the end, I guess, of the freeze frame action slide run. And so the, the weak way does command big money in high grade, but the Boba Fett also is pretty in pretty high demand. There's a few others that I can think of. Um, let's see the ATST drivers one, the AT, I believe the ATAT driver is also another one that uh, is pretty popular. The, uh, the sand trooper is another one on the freeze frame action slide that, uh, that people like to get. So anyway, that's first of three. Let's, let's show you now uh, the two vintage, Palatoy Tri Logos that came back in the latest batch. Okay, the next one I got back is another Lando Calrissian in a skiff guard disguise to go along with the one that was already in my collection. This is the 79 back A US card. Uh, so here we are. This is one that I've had for a little bit now. Nice clear blister on this one. This one is graded 80 overall. Card got an 80, blister 85, figure 85. Nice archival case. Got a really good, a good deal on this one. I'll probably pick this up maybe five years ago or longer. Um, it was one of the first mint on card items I got, one of the you know first few. And so here's the new one that just arrived back from grading. 
with CAS. This is the Palatoy Tri-Logo. This is the 70 back B, uh, which is the most common of, of all the Tri-Logos for most of, the, most of the characters. Some of the characters were more common on other other card backs for the Tri-Logo, but anyway, this is the Lando, and I did go ahead and add blister support for this one. This was a purchase from Chris W. and Rogue5 Toys on Facebook, so make sure to go look them up. But uh, he gave me a very fair deal on this one. I wasn't sure what this one was going to grade at, but uh, came back as an 80 overall. So here's the grading label on this one. Card got an 80, blister 80, figure 85. I knew it was going to be either an 80 or a 75 plus. Luckily, the grading gods took took mercy on me. It had a fair amount of edge wear, but it was all kind of like minor edge wear. But just the, the, the most damaged area was this down here. It looks like a little rat had gotten, gotten hold of that corner there and started gnawing on it a little bit. But uh, otherwise, uh, a really nice clean card, and uh, happy to add this one to my Lando Skiff collection. I've got a number of loose graded uh, Lando Skiff cards, and I've, I've done a video on them, so you can just look up Action Figure Grader Lando Skiff card, and I'm sure that that video will pop up if you'd like to take a look at all of the different variations that I have. Uh, the next one I had uh, I, I had come back was one to go along with my reese. This is a reese on the Made in Mexico card back. And you can see that here, Made in Mexico, card got an 80, blister 85, figure 80 for an overall 80. This is the 65 back B, Lily Letty, but made for the US market. So um, you can see down here, all the Lily Letties have this Made in Mexico down here. And almost all of them have this factory punch that lets the the blister breathe. So if you see that, it's not, a, it's not damaged if it's on the made in Mexico card backs for the U.S. market. They, that is uh, that, that was something done that was done during the manufacturing process. So that's the made in Mexico. And then this one is a really nice one I picked up on Facebook. This is a Trilogo release. But what's unique about this one is that it was packed with two weapons. So this one has a double weapon error. And you'll see that a lot with these Trilogos that they were either packed with two weapons or sometimes zero weapons, sometimes the incorrect weapon. Well, this one had two uh, two weapons packed in with them, and here's the label on this one. Uh, packaging error, two weapons. It was yellowed. It, it was very slightly yellowed, but I, you know, I could barely you could barely see the yellowing on it. But apparently, it was enough for the grading company to you can see it kind of right up in there, around the top of that blister. Where it's just slightly yellowed versus the uh, the rest, but it, it was very very faint. But anyway, it is labeled yellow, but it is a 75 overall. The card got a 75, blister 75, figure 90. That's right in line with where I expected it to grade. It had a pretty pronounced ding there and some creasing on the card somewhere over here. I think you might be able to see it better on the back. Uh, some faint creasing there. And the rest of the card was pretty clean, but I knew it, was, I knew it would not get an 80, but uh, you can see some lip damage there on the, on the back. But uh, anyway, really nice item, and uh, it's always nice to have another factory error kind of air uh, item for the collection but uh i did add the blister support for that one as well just because these tri logos can you know the figures can bounce around in there i don't, I don't know if it really adds anything or if it really helps but i, I just thought it was <laughs> thought it was worth adding but anyway that's really all i had i just thought you'd like to take a look at these uh, recent ar new arrivals from cas i just haven't had a chance to show these ones to you yet i showed you uh, the loose graded, I showed you the TVC, and then I, now I showed you these and the Power of the Force 2 Boba Fett that arrived. I've got a few bootlegs that I'm going to show you as well that I'm, I'm waiting on one to hopefully arrive here soon, and then we'll take a look at that one. Uh, if you like this kind of video and you're new to the channel, welcome. I encourage you to like and subscribe for future content. And to all my existing subscribers and my Patreon supporters, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon.